All right, topping the news at five, the war of words between Memphis area's largest employer and the New York Times. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The Times article argues that FedEx has not invested as much as it promised since Congress passed a major tax cut back in 2017. Now, the accusations prompted a rare, lengthy response from founder and CEO Fred Smith. Indeed. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at FedEx World Headquarters in the Southwind area tonight. Brad, what did Smith say? Well, Richard and Katina, in addition to that, Fred Smith also challenged the publisher of the New York Times to a public debate. Today, an area economist defended FedEx's recent track record of investments and tax revenue, especially here in the company's home base of Memphis. Yeah. FedEx founder and CEO Fred Smith sounded off against a Sunday New York Times article which said the Memphis area's largest employer had a tax rate less than zero in 2018 and questioned whether the company's capital investment after the 2017 tax cuts lived up to FedEx's promises before its passage. Smith released this statement which read in part, the New York Times published a distorted and factually incorrect story concerning FedEx and our billions of dollars of tax payments and and investments. When he does talk, people listen because he doesn't do it all of the time. Memphis Business Journal associate editor Megan Nichols covers FedEx extensively. This afternoon, a company spokesperson told Local 24 News, FedEx has paid federal income tax every year, including fiscal year 2018. The FedEx policy Twitter account also laid out recent investments, including $200 million in worker pay increases and the more than $1.5 billion commitments to modernize the Memphis World Hub. FedEx means a tremendous amount to Memphis, and it can't be overstated. Dr. John Ganuski, an economist at the University of Memphis, said FedEx investments mean jobs and more taxes paid out by the company and its workers. What you invest today generates revenues and employment opportunities and growth for the future. Now, the New York Times responded to Fred Smith's lengthy statement as a colorful response, which doesn't dispute the facts laid out in that article. Reporting live at FedEx World Headquarters in the Southland area, Brad Broder's Local 24 News. Brad, thank you.